Reunion Island is continuing its energy revolution. It currently imports most of its energy, but has set a target for autonomy by 2030. To better manage its energy costs and reduce its carbon footprint, Reunion Island has launched a large project to provide air conditioning to service sector buildings in the Saint-Denis and Sainte-Marie districts using deep seawater, a natural resource that is abundant and renewable. The technology is called seawater air conditioning, or SWAC for short. The principle is simple. 5 degrees Celsius seawater is pumped from a depth of 1100 meters off the coast. It is then channeled through a high-density polyethylene offshore pipe 6 kilometers long and 1.6 meters in diameter, built to resist the sea swell. The seawater is fed into heat exchangers, where it cools fresh water in the urban network to condition the ambient air in buildings. The main hospital, St. Clotilde Clinic, the university, the airport, office buildings, shopping malls, a total of over 50 large-scale complexes will thus benefit from this new air conditioning network, designed to last for over 50 years. The major advantage of the system is over 75% savings on fossil fuel-based electricity compared to traditional air conditioning solutions. Moreover, air conditioning by seawater will avoid emissions of 600,000 tonnes of CO2 over a period of 24 years or the equivalent of 16,000 cars worth of CO2 emissions per year. Naturally, this project will create jobs locally, so it will be very useful for the Reunion Island economy. The age-old seawater pumped from the seabed could also launch a new sector on the island. The seawater, which is extremely pure and rich in nutrients, could be re-employed in a large number of areas. Fish farming, aquaculture, cosmetics, thalassotherapy, and even the desalination and bottling of this water with antioxidant properties. The project was launched in 2008 by the districts of Saint-Denis and Sainte-Marie and was brought to fruition by the intercommunity syndicate CIDEO with backing from the French state, the Reunion Island Regional Council and ADEME. The project is co-financed by a European structural fund. Climabis and Climespace, subsidiaries of NG, partnered by the Caisse des Dépôts, were given the task of implementing the project and managing it for 24 years. Over 150 million euros will be invested, almost 50% of which will be spent locally. The project will be a world first in terms of the scale of the offshore works and its coupling to a dense and varied urban network over 23 kilometers long. The SWAC project also fits perfectly within the energy and ecology transition to which France and the EU are committed. Deployment is planned for 2017. Do.